The ongoing controversy between Israel and Poland is continuing and even heating up. And here at the Conference of Presidents, there are also very strong feelings on the issue. I feel that the Polish government has made a big mistake on this. Um, I think there's a failure to read history. There's a failure to read the feelings of the Jewish people and a failure to read the, the feelings of Israel, that there is a, a, you know, a way to talk about how many different uh, collaborators there were, or, or how many, um, or people who were uh, Gentiles and righteous Gentiles who saved people. But there is yet another way to mischaracterize things and to then uh, try to revise history, whether they mean to or not. I think it's going to raise a lot of resentment. You already see a lot of uh, strong outpouring of feelings. And I hope that uh, the Polish government uh, uh, has the wisdom to try to uh, walk that back somehow. And sadly, the fact that it has been raised in and of itself is proof that there was always a historical problem with anti-Semitism that to this day is just not reckoned with in an honest way by the Polish people. That said, there were Poles who rescued uh, members of many people's families here. There were uh, Poles who were in the resistance. There were Poles who did stand up to anti-Semitism, but in the uh, Polish church well into the 1970s and 80s, you may remember the anti-Semitism of Cardinal Glemp himself. So from a purely pragmatic point of view, it makes no sense for the Poles to pursue this, this line of reasoning. I think it's a disgrace what's happening. And I think that the Polish people cannot rewrite or change history in any manner. As a son of a survivor from Auschwitz, as one of the members of the Jewish people who lost millions of Jews in Poland, I believe that Israel, March of the Living, and the American Jewish organizations should halt at once and not send one Jewish youth and one Jewish person to Poland. They should understand there's something that is called principles. They murder Jews, and the fact that the prime minister gets up there with his chutzpah, and I know it may not be politically correct, but I don't know how anybody let him speak and say that there were Jewish perpetrators just like, like there were Polish perpetrators. This is an oxymoron. This is something that should not pass quietly. And I believe Israel should call back its ambassador and not set one foot again in Poland. We have our pride and they have to understand that there's truth is only one way. The Polish people did collaborate. The Polish people did murder Jews. There's no other way of saying it.